Exercise 4, question 3. Alright, derive the Z transfer function for a differentiation with Euler's backward and Tastin. Okay? The differentiation over here is stating this one, y dot k. Alright? And Euler's forward method is something like this. Alright? So Euler's forward method normally you will you will have this thing in order to find the next step. Right? You input the certain stuff, alright, minus away a certain uh past information you'll get a uh, new information coming up from here all right if you still remember so in other words this whole thing is your Euler's formula Euler's for more formula already all right it's just trying to manipulate with words all right the differentiation is simply this one while you calculate the next the next time step using this one over here if so to speak all right so if, if such the case happen you you can also write this as yk plus 2 because you take your current time step minus away your previous time step, all right. Over a certain period, you'll get another k, another time step at a, at an an at another point, all right. So to speak, hopefully you get what I mean. So, um, so without further ado, let's let's start out with this thing, all right. Taking note that this one, you just need to know that it's k plus two, okay. But we 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 will not do this. But I just want to inform you about this. So the first thing I do is to is to rewrite this thing, all right, in terms of s. Alright, um, y s, because you know the differentiation. Alright, if you transform it to a Laplace, it's something like this. Okay, next I can transform this y of s into y of z. Can simply rewrite as this thing over here. Okay, so my purpose over here is just to write. It. Uh, it's it's just to transform into a Laplace. Then from a Laplace, I transform into a z transform. Okay, so far so good. So therefore, I have S, Y, Z over here. Alright, so I'll just remove this thing over here. Okay, so I've set up for the for the first step. The next thing is I want to find this one. Okay, this one over here is very intuitional. You can write because it's Y, so it's just write Y, Z. If it's K plus one, you'll just write as Z one. If it's K plus two, then you write Z square. If it's k minus, if this is like minus, so you have z minus 2. If it's uh, minus 99, then it's minus 99. Alright, everything, so as you can see, there's a trend over here. This thing over there tells you how many delay you are, you are, you are talking about. If you have a plus 1 uh, forward, not delay, then you have a plus 1 over here. If it's a minus, so this tells us that we have a delay. So you need to know all these things. So therefore from here we can straight away know that y comes to yz. This thing over here tells you how many times you are you are forward from your system or you are delayed from your system. Okay? So therefore we have two we have proved to you that uh, this one over here we can simply rewrite as yz z. Okay? And then minus yk. Yk is simply if you Laplace is I mean sorry, z transform you just simply get back minus yz. Okay, so I have minus, which is this minus over here. Alright, yk is just simply yz, that's all. Okay, and then over t. And if I were to factorize out my yz, alright, maybe I should write it over here, I'll have z minus 1 t yz. Alright, and then this yz, maybe I should uh, move this side all the way to here. At least you get to see the cancellation more easier. So I can cancel this and cancel this, right? They are, they are both at the same side. And therefore, S is equals to Z minus 1 over T. Alright? So S over here, as you straight away know, is your differentiation. If it's 1 over S, you remember, it's an integration. So S is a differentiation. That's all. Okay? So we have solved for the, the, first, the first one. This is the, the, the Euler's forward system. So let us solve for the Euler's backward. Alright? As, as defined from the question. So we need to solve for the backward over here. Okay, so the backward system, as you know, is backward. Backward for this case, just to inform you because it's not important, but just want to inform you because it may be helpful in the future, is that you take your current input, you minus away your previous input, you hope to get back um, the previous, previous input, which is yk minus 2. Okay, I think I may be wrong, but I, I may have be correct also <laughs> so I, I i kind of feel feel it because this is a backward so you're going in the backward direction you see you're going in this direction backward 
Alright, therefore backward wise, we are talking about going in the from k to k minus one to k minus two to k minus three, etc. Alright, the forward goes from uh from k to k plus one to k plus two, etc. Okay, so at least I just want to convey to you this this uh, particular subtle message. Alright, so same thing over here. I can transform this thing over here to my um my so called my <laughs> my Laplace domain. Alright, and then I'm gonna transform this y of s into y of z, just simply write as y of z will do. Okay, so I'll just remove everything to make it neater. Hold on a while. Alright, so it goes to. So I knew, you know why k is simply just write as capital YZ will do. Okay, same as if you were to transform this into. Uh, I think it's more on the language wise. La. So if you were to write this in terms of Laplace, it's just Y of S, that's all. Okay, so therefore um, I have Y of S minus, alright, same thing over here, Y I can write as Y of S, while my K minus 1 in this case I can write as Z minus 1 because it's minus 1. So you are telling us our system that you are you are delayed by minus one, right? So I can simply rewrite this as um, y of s z minus one, okay, over t, right? Over t. Okay. Next, I factorize out my y of s. I will have one minus z minus one over t. So this y of s is over. I shouldn't have write a y of s. What the hell am I doing? It should be y of z. Sorry, my fault. Okay, it's my fault. It should be y of z. Okay, because we have z transform. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I have y of z over here. All right, and I can simply rewrite this thing over here as one over z. All right. So one over z. If I were to multiply, just simply to rearrange. Maybe I should crop this one and replace it over here, so it's slightly neater for you to see. Okay. So if I have this thing, maybe hold on a while. If I write my z minus one as one over z, all right, I can simply rearrange by multiplying z over z, which is just equals to one uh, for this case. Okay. So if I were to multiply this, all right, what we have is z times one, you have z, and then z times minus one over z, you have minus one, right? And then this this uh bottom over here, you just multiply with tz, you have tz. And don't forget you have a yz over here. Okay, so this is the step. Next, I'll just simply paste it all over here because it's it's easier for you to, to visualize. And then I can cancel away. Cancel away. Okay, therefore what I have is S, your differentiation is equal to z minus 1 over tz. Okay? And please take note that often the purpose of me writing in terms of y is because I can convey you to you because normally when we do Laplace it's always y of s, alright. But I just want to convey to you sometimes they will give you some equation like x k or maybe u k, alright. It's the same thing. You just transform your u k to u z. You just transform your x k to x z. Same thing, alright. Don't don't be scared that when you see different alphabet then you you feel a bit stunned. Alright, so be very careful when you're talking about YK, it's YS, if it's UK, then it's UZ, or whatever, okay? So it should be YZ, yeah. Anyway, you, you get what I mean already. So the next one is the trapezoidal differential. Dif dif differential. Alright, it's the same thing, it asks you to find differentiation for your testing uh, trapezoidal rules. So how do we settle this testing stuff? The testing formula over here, as you can see, is this thing, including the differential. This one is a trapezoidal, alright. Or this thing over here is somewhat your y dot, okay. As you can see, you input your your current stuff plus uh your current stuff plus uh because trapezoidal is something like this. So this is k plus one. This is k, alright. You take your information of k plus one and k. You sum it up together. You divide it by two. You somewhat uh maybe this this is a trapezoidal. So I have I must have tri triangular system, alright. Something like this, okay. So therefore, if I were to do that, all right, I will have uh, this thing and this thing combined all together, divided by two, all right, plus your your current y k over here. You construct a new new trapezoidal, which is k plus two. Then the next step, you you just take k plus two, k plus one all together, and then you can calculate the rest to find the rest of the trapezoidal. This is the the method of trapezoidal. 
but uh, it's totally not related to this question but I just want to convey to you that this thing over here is simply your next step your next time step that you can want to find okay hopefully this is pretty fine and therefore let's start off with, with what we want to do okay the first step over here what I need to do is to I'll just bring this thing over here alright I'll just bring it all the way over here okay so I'll just simply sw switch sides only so I have a minus plus okay so i have minus yk plus yk plus one this is my first step maybe i should rewrite everything at least it's easier for you to write hold on about okay so i'll just simply bring bring this over to the other side yk plus one minus yk is equal to this thing over here all right same thing all right i'm gonna transform this one all right i gotta transform it as z okay sorry <laughs> uh this y over here i can transform as yz Alright, this, this is k plus 1, and therefore I can transform as z because it's plus 1, so I have a time step forward. So it's z, y, z. Okay, this over here is minus y, k, so I have minus y, k is just simply itself, so I have y, z over here. Okay, then it's equals to, alright, uh, t over 2, I leave it as t over 2, alright, it doesn't change anything. Alright, over here it's y prime k. Y prime k is if you transform into Laplace, you have S Y S, alright. For here is Y S S Y S, and then I can transform again from the S domain to the Z domain as S Y Z. Okay, so I can simply rewrite as S Y Z over here. Okay. Now, as for this case, alright, I can also transform this thing over here uh, into the the S domain. It's plus, alright. S Y um, S alright and then K plus 1 if you remember it's I think it's E minus A T A S or whatever forget already sorry it should be like like a 1 over S plus A something like that S plus 1 sorry alright and then if you were to transform this thing into the Z domain you will transform into S Y Z this one will become your Z again alright Z to the power of 1 so this is because you are, you are you differentiate so what i'm doing simply is to take this thing all right this thing over here is this thing okay your k plus one is simply your z z to the power of one if you still remember if it's minus one then it's z minus one if it's z minus two then it's z minus two all right same thing but i just rewrite in terms of a laplace system at least you get a feel how the laplace is being changed to a to a z domain but likewise, I mean like not like not likewise, but whatever, <laughs> you'll get this thing over here, okay? And then this is this, all right? So just just to recap, this thing over here is equals to this one. This thing over here is equals to this one, all right? The purpose of me trying to derive from the to the s domain is because I want I want to write in terms of s because s tells us that we are doing with differentiation. As you can see over here, s is equals to something, s is equals to something. So my purpose over here is also write in terms of that particular um, meaning in there. Alright, so I'll just write in terms of a different color. Now, I can factorize out my yz because I see that there's a common term over here. So if I factorize, I'll have a yz over z minus 1. Alright, which is equals to t over 2. I just keep it as t over 2. Alright, I can factorize out my s because my I can factorize both of them, syz and syz over here. So if I factor factorize out all all this uh, s y z what i have is s y z all right one plus z okay next if you were to compare all right there is a common term of y of z and y of z over here all right so i can just simply cancel away right because they are just common term i can bring i can say that if i bring this thing down all right it's just cancelling each other so i just simply cancel off my y of z already okay Alright, next, my purpose as we, as we know is to somewhat um, trying to write in terms of S over here. Okay, so simply I'll just switch sides. At least it, it, it matters a little bit. Alright, I'll just simply switch sides over here. As you can see what I'm doing right now. I'm just simply uh, bringing this thing over here to here. Bringing this thing over here to here. Alright, so at least I can write neater. Okay. So now I can write in terms of s. So therefore I have s is equals to z minus one, which is this one. Alright, I divided by one plus z, so I bring the small plus z down. 
So I have 1 plus z. Okay, so this 2 over here will, will go up, this t over here will go down. So therefore, I have 2 over t. Alright, so you have somewhat derived your trapezoidal differential equation part. Alright, if you find that 1 plus z is not nice, you can also write as uh, z plus 1. Alright, 1 plus z is not nice, you write as z plus 1. Because this will look like your answers in your answer sheet. Alright, you can just take note this thing over here. Alright, it's the same thing that they actually derive for you. Alright, so therefore, this is it for, for question uh, exercise 4, question 3. These are the 3 questions. See you soon.